I uh, should have went up further. It might be rough getting going from a stop up here. I'm not being a dick by revving, by the way. I'm just letting the motor run, warm up a little bit. See if we can get going up this hill. <clears throat> hey, be happy, everybody. Heck, it's making it. I just said in the Fat Moto video. Or no. I don't know. I've done a lot of videos today. Death Stroke video. Death Trap. I wasn't going to bring this bike up here because it's too loud, but here I am anyway. It's not that loud. Things fast if you let it get away from you. Just no torque anymore. I am gonna redo do a review of this motor, I think. I'm gonna get all my thoughts together. <clears throat> oh hey! Scup cut that out often. I don't know remember what the fuck this bike is called. It's a huffy. God damn it. There's a lot of walkers today, so I'm trying to be slow and respectful. Or as slow as respectful as I can. Give me a second, guys. Forget what this damn bike is called. Camp Bayside. LA Hover. Popular guy. The reason I started doing motorized bikes. Love his channel. He has one of these. Um, he talks about how great the bike is. He's not wrong. He's not wrong at all. This is a great bike. His is still stock. I mean, he put motors on it, but I mean, the bike itself is still stock. I think he put on some uh, fenders, maybe, or mug guards. If you guys get a cheap pair of front forks for this bike, because it doesn't come, it, it, it comes with solid forks. If you get a cheap. Did my chain pop off? All right, let me finish my conversation that I'm having and then we'll go from there. Cheap pair of front forks makes this bike 100% better. And like LA Hover says, it's already, already a really nice bike. So invest in some cheap forks, slap them fuckers on here, and you have a very, very nice bike for, for fairly cheap, like still under 200 bucks. But all right, guys, I'm gonna, See what's going on here. Yeah, it just popped off. I'm not sure why. Maybe set this at two. Keep it from popping off.
All right, back to the ride. But anyway, like I said, all respect to LA Hover. He's he's amazing. I'm not uh, dissing him at all by leaving the bike stock. I'm just letting you guys know, you know, cheap. They don't have to be expensive. I think these were 40 bucks. And it turns it into an amazing bike. Absolutely. Oh. And I've got some people asking me to get the EZ85 motor, the new one, or EZ Phantom, something like that. I'm looking into it. Um, I can buy the motor right now, it's not a money issue, I just don't know what bike I want to put it on. That's such, from, from everybody I've been watching, including LA, that motor is peppy for stock, and I want to have a nice bike to put it on. now. Best case scenario, I'd love to put it on JB, but that bike frame is extremely small and I always have to jury rig it to hell and back to get a motor on there. And that's why I kind of like doing cheap China doll motors because I'm not scared to mess anything up with that bike frame. Um, the EZB85 being a really nice motor kit. Whew, getting bumpy. Um, I don't know, I'm just afraid of messing something up. I mean, shit out of luck. Like, I really don't want to mess up a, a motor that's, that's nice. But yeah, I'd love to put it on JB because I know the bike itself can handle it. This bike probably could handle it, to be honest with you. I just got done saying how nice this bike was. Um, and that is the case, I just don't know. I like this bike for lower speeds. Like the BT100 on this bike is a little scary. I don't know, it's a nice bike, but every bike is, you know, purpose built for what it's built for. And none of them are made for motors, obviously, but JB's a mountain bike. And and it's a it's a Swin, a very nice Swin. Um, I think it was like a $600 bike back in the day when it was bought in 2012. Six eight hundred dollar bike. It was a lot, um, and I just I really want to keep anything fast on that bike because I know it can handle it. Whereas this bike, I don't really want to go above thirty, and this BT already is pushing forty on this bike, and I really don't want to push my luck any further than that. I've had my visor up for a long time, so I apologize if there's any wind. It's really hot today. I'm actually having a blast riding this bike. I wish I had someplace else to ride it. Everybody seems to be pretty chill with me riding here too, so that's cool. But I'll get out of their hair. This bike's also really nice to pedal. Um, again, not as good as a nice mountain bike, but it's got gears, seven speed. That makes all the difference. I hate single speed, ugh, single speed bikes. The main reason I don't like doing the Cranbrooks because they're single speed. Um, plus the bikes themselves are just kind of shitty. I know everybody likes to go straight to a Cranbrook because they're like $80 to buy and you can fit almost any motor in them. But if you guys can invest in a better bike, I recommend it. Cram books are awful. Oop, wrong one. I have my clutch in different places on all my bikes, so <laughs> it gets confusing. I mean this. The, the Camp Bayside, $40 more expensive than a Huffy Cranbrook. It's worth the extra $40, even if you don't change the forks. Like, way better. You can still fit almost any motor in this. I mean, I did have that four-stroke in here, and it worked. Don't get me wrong. I had to do a lot of 
jury rig in, had to change out the mufflers, yada yada yada. I only had it in here for about a week before I decided I didn't like it. If I really wanted to push it, I probably could have got it perfect. I was just at the point where I didn't really care. Put it back in uh, death trap. Man, guys, I wish I had some place to ride. I don't know if I told you in this video or not, but I'm getting pulled over a lot more often. I've been getting warnings saying, you know, you can lose your license for this. And I can't, I can't afford to lose my driver's license because I'm riding a bicycle. Like, I don't know. The world is ridiculous. And I'm not hurting anybody. And let's say, even if they wanted these to be registered, it's not a motorcycle, it's still a moped. You can have these registered as a moped. I have JB registered as a moped. And you don't have to have insurance on mopeds. So that right there, even if I had this registered, if I were to get in an accident, I'm still not gonna have insurance. Because you don't have to have insurance on a moped. So, personally don't see what the problem is. But not everybody thinks like that. And I'm not dissing on the cops here. Like I said, they've actually been very nice giving me warnings and you know not a lot of them do that anymore a lot of them are just like well here's a ticket uh, take your license away uh, I'm gonna impound this thing you call a bike and uh, put you in jail uh, don't drop the soap <laughs> not that not to that extreme but you get where I'm coming from all right I'm gonna turn the engine off I think we'll go pedal home but yeah I don't know I gotta find a place to ride I'll be on the lookout. I will. Thank you guys for watching. I'm gonna go in the house and eat because I am starving. I have I got up at six today and have not eaten yet, and it is let's see. 1040. So yeah. Hungry Austin. See you guys later.